searching in the dark Trusting every clue I found But the truth has not been told Cause every corner of these woods is hollow I can't see in the dark Hello there, how's it going? So, uh, this week has just been dreadful weather. It's just been raining all week, non-stop. And uh, with the sunrise uh, around 7.45ish now, it's kind of limiting the, the days I have available to me to get out. And basically that's that. <laughs> By limiting, I mean I get Saturday morning and Sunday morning. So um, I kind of just having to accept what conditions I get and try and plan my location based on those conditions. Now, it was meant to be raining this morning quite heavily, but fortunately, as you can see, it's just windy and there's no rain. So, I've decided to come to a beach that I've been many times before, and that is Southwold. And the reason I've come here is because, as you can see from my, my hair and the, and the reeds here, the wind, I wanted to try and capture some nice images of the sand dunes blowing in the breeze. I've got a little bit of texture in the sky, but you know, I might have to be patient with that and just hope some nice, um, some nice clouds come above me and just time the shutter. But um, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. I'm going to try and try something else. I've been to this, like I said, I've been to this occasion a few times, and I've, I've got all the, you know, the the go-to shots. I'll, I'll pop them up for you now, actually, because I'm some of my best work. So I've got this one here of the beach huts, which was taken about 11 months ago, the morning of um, was it Storm Eleanor. And as you can see, it's, it's basically um, what, it's basically a composite time blend or what Alaya Licardi would call a um, moment in time. So it's three images taken throughout the course of the sunrise and then blended together to, uh, to make, a, as you say, a composite, a more artistic image. Then, uh, probably not long before I started making these videos, I came back for, uh, for an evening there was clear skies forecast. And I got this shot here, which um, is really nice. I really like this. So this is again, one shot taken deep into the blue hour for the foreground. And then I think about 150 images stacked for the stars. And I think, I guess no trip to Southwold would be complete without one of the pier. So I've got another one of the pier, which is again, probably just at the turn of the year. And again, that was, I'd never been so battered by sea foam in all my life. My, my camera lens and my face and my mouth and everything was just covered in foam. And I actually I came away thinking I hadn't got any images, but luckily I managed to get this one. So I thought, you know, I've got those images. Why not come here and try and be a bit more creative with my compositions, a bit more artistic. And I, I remembered um, a few months ago, I came for a walk around here and all these lovely sand dunes are here. I mean, as you can see, there's so much cloud on the horizon that I don't think I'm going to get any morning light, but I think I'm going to be focused more on textures this morning. And I think shutter speed is going to be important because of the wind. I'm going to have to figure out a nice shutter speed to get a nice amount of movement in the reeds that could create, you know, quite a painterly artistic image but we will see I've got about half an hour to sunrise so I'm gonna pop you down I'm gonna have a walk around through the dunes see see if anything you know takes takes my fancy and I'll talk to you soon it's only taken me about an hour but I've managed to find my first composition that I'm actually quite pleased with um, I've been walking around handheld snapping away occasionally putting the camera on the tripod to experiment with the shutter speeds but I just couldn't find anything that was quite compelling and um I'm trying to use the wind and the and how the reeds are blowing to create, you know, like a uniformity to lead the viewer through through the image. But I've not, I'm yet to find that. But what I have found is one nice composition because, as you can see, I'm on I'm on a bit of a slope here, going up into the dunes. So as the dunes are going up, it's, there's just two clumps of reeds, and they've got a little separation between them, and it, it quite, works quite nicely because there's there's just a little bit of texture in the sky, which I think is actually working quite nicely. And I've just been experimenting with, with shutter speeds, so I'm, I'm finding around two, two and a half seconds is giving me a nice, with this, this sort of wind, is giving me a nice motion in the reeds. And yeah, it's, it's quite a nice image. It's, it's really simple. And it's just about creating, you know, 
an artistic effect with, with the reeds in the motion and there's, there's not too much to it really, it's just a really nice simple image. So yeah, I think, I think I'm pretty pleased with this one for a, for a first image. I mean, <laughs> I'm going to keep having a wander because it's, it's really difficult to, to find something that's compelling and to, to pick out interest and amongst just, it's just reeds, it's just grass and there's nothing, there's not really a focal point. So it's, it's, it's a good challenge as a photographer to, to do something like this, you know, to really um, make yourself think and work hard for that composition. And yeah, I'm pretty pleased with this one. So I've got, yeah, F16, two and a half seconds. I'm just waiting for a breeze to come in. The light is actually, as I said, just starting to pierce through. So just wait for the wind to come. I'm on a three second timer. And lovely. Yeah, it's nice. And it's always worth shooting, you know, multiple images with this scenario because you might find a certain breeze and combination of everything. You just capture that really nicely. So yeah, first image of the day. Pretty pleased. I've managed to find my second composition now. I've just spent the last sort of 45 minutes um, walking amongst the dunes, just, just trying to find something simple yet effective. And I think I've managed to find that here. So basically, as you can see on the left of the frame, I've got this footpath leading up through the image. And on the right hand side, I've got all this long grass. And because the wind, and it's being really strong this morning, so hopefully the audio is okay, it's blowing really strongly across the frame. And I find that's making the the grass merge with the footpath in the center of the frame and I'm looking at roughly one and a half seconds of shutter speed for exposure and I'm just finding that's giving the grass a really nice texture. Um, I think I'm roughly, yeah, I'm roughly 50-50 with the, with the grass and the sky because there's some nice texture in the sky and it's just giving a really nice simple image and I'm really pleased with it. It's working really well. Um, I've got a three stop soft edge grad on just to just to tame the the highlights in the sky and also a three stop ND filter which is just helping me get that shutter speed that I need and it's just been a case really I've just been shooting for the last 10 minutes it's just been a case of just waiting looking through live view and just waiting for the clouds to line up nicely in the composition and actually as I look at it now I've got dark clouds at the edge of the frame and they're all converging into the middle where there's a brighter spot and that's where it meets the path so actually I think right now could be the shot that I like so I'm just going to click the shutter I'm on a three second timer it's quite windy so I don't want to touch anything let that take the shot and it's really nice I'm really pleased with it it's it's something different to what I would shoot and and actually that's that's why I came out here this morning because I could have shot the beach huts, I could have shot the pier, but I've done that before. I wanted to come amongst the grass and try and find something unique and original to me. You know, it's, it's the thing as a photographer, you've got to keep striving to improve and challenge yourself. And it's definitely been a challenge this morning, but I've, I've really enjoyed it. And I think I've come up with two, two really nice images. So I'm pleased with how it's gone. A couple of quick announcements to make. In the new year, I'm looking to run two sunrise workshops in Flatford along the River Store. And during the winter, it's just an incredible location if you get a really nice th thick frost and um, a still morning with the reflections on the river, it's stunning. 
So I'll put a link to those workshops in the description below. And if you're interested, then then please do click and check them out. Any questions, then you know, message me down below or on the um, on the contact form on my website. I'm, I'm more than happy to get to get back to you. Um, but yeah, I think for me this morning that is everything. So if you're enjoying the videos and you haven't subscribed, then please do consider subscribing. And yeah, until next week, see you later.